I'm so tap tap, and in my recent Abyssrium videos, people are like, wait, how are you using a mouse in tap tap fish? How are you, how are you playing on the PC? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I use an app called uh, Nox App Player. You can just Google for it, Nox App Player. If you're worried, um, it's just bignox.com. There'll be a link in the description. You can just click that directly. Hello, Parker. Um, it's really pretty simple stuff. You just want to download. There's one big download button. Uh, there's a Mac version. Um, the default version is for Windows. If you got a Linux PC, well, you knew where you were getting into. Um, it's going to take a few seconds to download. It's not too big. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much space it takes up exactly. Uh, unless you're on like a tiny SSD, it's probably not going to matter too much. It's not going to be more than a couple of gigs, I think. I don't know exactly how big Android is these days. It's like four gigs on my phone, but I'm not sure if that's different for like just the simulator. Anyway, it's uh, what Knox is, is it is a Android emulator that just plays Android apps. And so all it really is... Um, I already have it installed, so it wants me to back up some stuff. I don't... It, this None of this really matters too much for me, but I, uh... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to back up, because I have... I do cloud saves, so that's one important thing for Android games. Back up, continue. Yeah, I don't care. Because I have cloud save backups, and all of my save files are on my phone. Um, but cloud saves are one thing you're going to have to watch for if you want to play Abyssrium on... both on your phone and on the, uh... On, and on your PC. Uh, I'll get into that a bit later, but basically any game that has cloud saves, you can save on your phone if it's an Android phone, and then you can load it up on Nox App Player and play it here. Um, Nox has pretty good compatibility. There's a few games I haven't got to play. Um, mostly, mostly just Pocket Plants, actually. Pocket Plants I did not get to work. Um, really, that's about it. But uh, I'm sure there's probably other its and bits that don't work. Um, the installation process, super simple. You might have heard of BlueStacks. BlueStacks is another alternative. I don't recommend it anymore. Um, I actually recall having a bit more trouble with installing it. Not like, it was just like a couple extra menus. It really wasn't a big deal. Um, but it also comes with this new video recorder, which I already have my own video recording stuff. Um, it has way more ads. Nox is supported by ads. It just adds like, It'll install the latest, you know, mobile game craze on your PC, you know, on your, not on your PC, um, on the emulated Android thing. So, like, you'll see, like, Clash of Clans or whatever. Um, you don't have to run the apps. It doesn't put, like, video ads on there. It, um, it's just, it's not a big deal. It's not as obnoxious as, uh, as Bluestacks has gotten. I hope it never gets as obnoxious as Bluestacks, because Bluestacks has just gotten worse and worse, and that's why I go for this. Uh, this is also designed more specifically for gaming stuff, so like you can see on um, in the background there, it's like, oh, look at all these games you can play. It's mostly designed for playing apps, even though it is it's an Android emulator full on, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I think it, it has some manner of screen capture. I never use the in internal one. Um, it also has auto-touch macros, so like, you know, if you want to farm some stuff in Abyssrium, you can set up some basic stuff. Um, so yeah, once you've started it up, it's just like, here's the ad I was talking about. It just plops on, you know, some popular thing they want you to play. Um, yeah, what you want to do is just open the Play Store, and um, you probably have a Google account. If you don't, you can make it here. Um, you need one to download stuff from the App Store. Um, just give me a second, I'll log in with my own info. Alright, now that I signed in with my Google account, I did get a little... Did you just sign in thing? Because, you know, Google tries to help you with your security. Um, you can just click OK to that. Um, you just want to search for Abyssrium on the store. Um, install it, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just like installing an app on your phone because that's basically just what it is. Um, it's not your phone, obviously. But you just want to run the game. Um, if you're on iOS, you can transfer your save file over. It's just a little bit more convoluted. Um, if you log in with Facebook, you can load... Your cloud save actually goes to Facebook as well as um, iCloud and Google Play. So you can actually switch devices as long as you save to uh, a Facebook account. Um, we don't. 
we don't really care about the tutorial. Uh, you can skip the tutorial, it just takes a little bit. It's been a long time since I've seen this. Um, ugh. I still... I, I know the name change seems pretty permanent at this point, but... I still hate the term Tap Tap Fish. Just Abyssrium, what a cool freaking name. Hey, excuse me. Um, and it'll probably actually automatically load you a save data if you're on... If you play normally on Android. And for some reason it loads twice sometimes. See, I... I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, but if you're just starting out, you can just load both. Um, I usually, what I do is I make a manual save before I'm going to switch over. Um, save to cloud. Or actually, wait, no. Oh, progress over it. I actually, since I just loaded this, I want to be absolutely sure I have the latest stuff. Um, because pearls are really painful to lose. I've had a few bugs and lost pearls. I'm really frustrated with that feature, by the way. I hope they do a lot of debugging. Uh, 117, that's the correct amount of pearls. Um, so yeah, what, what you want to do when you switch devices, you want to be absolutely sure you click save to cloud. Yes. And then on your other device, you want to click restore from cloud. And you want to sanity check, last save time. That's one thing, the auto, the auto, when it tries to auto restore your save, it won't tell you what the last save time was. It won't tell me you know, how many fish you have. Uh, there's another game called, all right, I don't have install on here, but uh, Pocket Plants will tell you how many f uh, plants you have unlocked. So it's really easy to tell whether your current save file, like it'll say, oh, your current save file has 10 plants, but the cloud save has 11 plants. And obviously you can be like, oh, phew, I want the 11 plants one, thank you. Abyssrium just kind of forces its way through. Um, if you're on Android, which is what the Nox app player is, uh, if you get that confirm loading thing, you can actually just press back button and you can cancel out of the auto load and you can just manually go restore from cloud. It'll tell you exactly when it was saved, which is uh, really handy. Um, I do recommend not juggling it around too much. I have accidentally overwritten saves a couple times when bouncing between my phone and this. I mostly stay in the app player or in the phone for long stretches of times. Uh, it is possible to bounce around like I said, but you're going to want to be a little bit careful. Now, remember, like I said, if you're on iOS and you want to play on Nox app player, you're going to need to log in on Facebook. Uh, you can use a fake Facebook. Um, <laughs> You're, you um, just you need to put in a Facebook here, log in on your phone, save the game, log in on here on the Nox app player, then you can load your save game from Restore from Cloud, and you should be all good. I haven't done it myself because I have an Android phone. I don't have any iOS stuff. To, whoa, my cat is activating things on the keyboard, which is great. Thank you, my friend. Um, but yeah, um, and then from there, it's pretty much just Abyssrium, like you've always seen it. It doesn't, uh, there's nothing really too fancy or wacky. Um, you can go into settings. If you have a weaker, if you have a toaster PC, you can be all right with uh, Nox. You just want to kick the performance settings down. Um, I have a Surface Pro 3 tablet, which is not really, you know, it's not a gaming PC. So what I usually do is I set on that one, I set the resolution down a little bit. Uh, 720 works pretty fine. Um, you might want to set the frame rate down to, oh, it looks like a slider, but it be no slider. Uh, I set the frame rate slider down to 30. Um, you can put the resolution down a little bit lower if you want. Um, you can put the performance down to mid. Um, and if you don't notice a difference in your games um, and you set your performance settings low, I'm not gonna save it because it's gonna wanna restart. Um, if you set the performance settings low, I haven't noticed a difference in Abyssrium. Abyssrium is a pretty, flexible game. You can play it with whatever settings you want. Um, certain features in the game are a little bit painful with the uh, mouse control. Like, taking pictures uh, is really painful this way. Unless you have a touchscreen PC. Like, it works properly on my uh, Surface Pro because it has touch input. But for the most part, you're probably not going to be taking amazing pictures <laughs> on camera. And some games, like I said, this is mostly just for Abyssrium, but some games will be a little awkward to play. You might want to set up Hello, Parker. Um, some macros. I have some macros for certain games. Um, you can set up... I'm not sure exactly how, actually. Oh, yeah, gamepad thing, I think this is. Um, keyboard control mode. Sure. Oh, yeah, basically for this, you can set, like, okay, whenever I press, you know, the, the left trigger on my gamepad, I want you to press this button here. 
so you can map your keyboard or your gamepad um, to play things. That's more for games like, you know, uh, platformers or shooters or stuff. It's The mouse works fine for Abyssrium. Um, but that's pretty much all you need to see. That's pretty much how you play Abyssrium on your computer. Or you can play it on PC or Mac. I don't know if it works in Wine on Linux. If you're on Linux, you're on your own and you're used to being on your own. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the game just works the same it does on Android because it's just Android. It's not too complicated. Uh, but hopefully that helps you out. And like I said, the link to Nox is just in the description if you want to just go straight there. It's it's not too big, it's not too complicated. Um, it works on pretty much everything. If My general standard, if it works just fine on my Service Pro 3, which is like, it's a decent, it's like a three year old business laptop. If I figure if you can run it on that, it's pretty, you can run it on pretty much anything that can be expected to run modern programs. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not a toaster, but I th you can you can run this near toast quality. It might be a fancy toaster, but I do believe there are toasters out there that could in fact run good old Abyssrian like this. Oh, random tip, completely unrelated to um, to the game. I, I learned on Reddit. Um, that you can move, I don't have multiple pieces to show you properly, but um, you can stack these um, these wide rocks. You can like stack one here and then like boop one over here. Like as long as the rocks touch each other, you can actually move them over and like you can create a bridge like into the main area so you can actually see your creations. Uh, I don't unfortunately have enough pieces to really show you what I mean because I've been saving all of my stuff up for um, for the, the stuff that affects vitality. But uh, you can make like bridges and like move stuff over here so you can actually freaking see it because you can just barely see it off to the left there. That's why I scooted those in the corner so I could see them. Um, yeah, if you have a lot more, if you have pearls to burn on uh, wide rocks, I would just like make a little bridge so you can actually see your bits. I don't know why the expand isn't down here because there's no corals here and you can like, actually see it. I don't know. Not related to the point, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how you do it.